This is called Our Planet, the one place we all call home. With a foreword by David Attenborough, it's written by Matt Wyman, illustrated by Richard Jones. This is the contents page. And the foreword. Nature is full of thrilling stories. Some tell how certain animals manage to live in even the harshest places on Earth. What could be more astonishing and appalling than the way male emperor penguins spend almost half of every year standing in total darkness, lashed by ferocious, freezing blizzards with nothing whatsoever to eat? Other creatures seem to be living in luxury. Orangutans clambering around in the forests of Borneo are surrounded by all kinds of fruit. The problem is that while some fruits are rich and nutritious, Others are extremely poisonous, so a mother has to spend years carefully teaching her baby to know which is which. Some of these tales are about travel. Salmon, having spent the early years of their lives feeding in the ocean, somehow or other managed to find the mouth of the exact river in which they were hatched, and then swim right up to its shallow headwaters in order to lay their own eggs in exactly the same place. There are other stories of chase and escape. Polar bears have astonishing techniques of stalking seals that rest out on the ice. They have to move extremely slowly, with inexhaustible patience, and only when they believe the seal is not looking at them, until at last they are close enough to pounce. Cheetahs, on the other hand, catch antelope by chasing them across the open, grassy plains of Africa, and reach speeds faster than those achieved by anything else on four legs. Human beings also appear in these stories. Only too often, however, they seem to be the villains, for the truth is that we have not treated the world with the care that we should have done. But that is not so in all of the stories. One relates how we, almost without realising what we were doing, very nearly exterminated a species. When I was a boy, human beings hunted whales so mercilessly and so successfully that they were brought close to extinction. Fortunately, that story has a happy ending. Just in time, the seafaring nations of the world joined together and agreed to stop the slaughter. And now, there are more whales in the oceans than at any time within living memory. So here they are. Tales of travel, detective stories, domestic dramas and much else. Some we have known since the beginnings of human history when we lived by hunting. Others we have only just started to understand. And be prepared to add your own, because you will be among the next characters who can, if they wish, tell the most extraordinary story of all. How human beings in the 21st century came to their senses and started to protect planet Earth and all the other wonderful forms of life with which we share it. That was written by David Attenborough. This is a map of our planet. Our planet is one interconnected system of different environments. These are called habitats or biomes, which are like worlds within our world. In each one, you'll find communities of animal and planet species that have adapted to the conditions there in order to survive. Each biome is unique, and together they contribute to the whole planet working well. One planet. The different habitats that make up our planet might seem to be completely distinct and separate worlds, but in fact they are closely linked. From the high seas to the shallow waters around our coastlines, the forests and jungles to grasslands and deserts, freshwater environments to the ice worlds at the top and bottom of our planet, an astonishing diversity of life on Earth depends on these global connections. This is an American bison in Yellowstone National Park in the United States of America. And that's the end of the introduction.